Just Like My Dad, written by Teresa Barbell, illustrated by Margaret Applin. When I grow up in the morning, I put on my cowboy hat and my chaps. These things right here are called chaps. They protect the cowboy's pants. And my spurs, just like my dad. I love the smell of fresh hay in the barn and leather in the tack shed. I love the sounds of cows calling softly to their calves and horses munching on their feed in the early morning light. My dad does too. I love raking the curb curry. I love raking the curry comb through my horse's Nikki's mane and tail. Nikki likes the soft brush I rub across his back before my dad lifts the saddle onto him. Sometimes I can see my breath on a crisp autumn mornings. Autumn's in fall when the leaves are changing. But my jacket is toasty and the heat of Nikki's body warms the saddle that creaks beneath my bottom as we move out of the corral. Often we spend the whole morning mending fence. Dad lets me hammer the staples into the posts. Soon we are hot and our jackets are tied behind our saddles. But work isn't work when I'm with dad. Work is fun when he's with dad. Even lunch is fun, especially when the old time cowhands start spinning stories about how it was long ago. Each one of them seems to tell a bigger tale, but I never get tired of their stories. Neither does my dad. After lunch, we work the herd. I love the noise and the dust and the crowding cattle. I love the roping and branding. Brandy marks them so they can tell whose cows are who. I love moving the cows from field to field. Then, I like going home, feeling tired but good. So does my dad. But the best part of the day is when my dad tucks me into bed. I never get tired of hearing him say that one day I will be a great cowhand, just like his dad. So, who were our characters? We had two. Where is the setting? The setting kind of changed, so you can make it whatever part of the story you want. You can make it when they're moving cows field to field, the corral, his bedroom when his dad tucks him in at night, or the barn when he brushes his horse. What happened in the beginning of this story? What did they do in the morning? What did they do in the afternoon? Who did he like hearing the stories from? And what happened at end? What was his most favorite part of the day with his dad?